everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel I greatly appreciate you being here um, I want to show you today the goodies that I received from my artsy friends yep I got other things too of course but I was so tickled that so many talented people thought of me this Christmas I had a surprise in my mailbox a lot huh. anyway before I do that though, I want to invite you to a 52 week challenge. Yep, you heard it, 52 weeks, but you can do it if you put your mind to it. Now, here's what it is. I am one of the administrators on the Facebook group called Boho Daydreams. And this year we are going to do a 52 week challenge on collage. And it's supposed to make you, I guess, think outside the box, um, see how your skills evolve over the 52 weeks. Now, it's not going to be where we put out the 52 week uh, worth of prompts. Nope. It's going to be weekly. You might get it a day or two early, but that's it. So it's nothing that you're going to be able to work ahead on. All right. So understand that. But what it will be is where you can't work ahead, but you can always catch up. All right. Um, so, you know, we all know life gets busy and, you know, we might miss a week. <clears throat> so with that being said, um, it was suggested to get yourself either like a hardback book that you go ahead now and prepare um, to do your collaging in or what I'm going to use and I haven't really decided yet I'm leaning toward this one actually but I just picked these up at Walmart nothing really expensive but let me show you and I'm going to show you in the big one hopefully my camera's not going to go crazy they are perforated okay but what else they have is the pages let me pull this up here let's see if my camera's going to focus they have it where you can pull the pages out. So if you're like me and you're not really fond of necessarily a spiral bound, I can then take this out and actually work on a flat surface with it. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, I'm leaning more toward the smaller one because I think what I'm going to do is the prompts are going to be this whole thing for me. Um, I'm going to do the whole spread so that way I can pop out both pages and I'm going to tell you a little thing that I'm going to do not saying you have to this is each man for himself okay but I am going to in the back for every week I'm going to write what the prompts are there are 60 pages I think in here so that's more yep 60 sheets so that's more than enough space for me to be able to do my two page spreads and then still be able to write what my prompts were for each week. Um, in the past, sometimes I have written it like at the bottom. I don't necessarily want to do that this time. Plus with it being collage, it could get a little busy and my little notes could get lost. So I'm going to tuck it away in the back, but I'm going to put the information down below. Um, so if you are already a member of Boho Daydreams, Come on, jump in and join us. And of course, no one's going to hold you to the 52 weeks. That's totally up to you. Sure, we would like you to, but every week it'll be a new event. So you can say whether you're going to that week or not. And then you put your pictures up on that event um, page. And then you can also put them in the group so people can follow along. The prompts are going to consist of three to five images to collage. Um, the exercise is all about creativity, so it's not going to be a hurry up and get it done kind of thing. We want you to really think about it. We want you to put your best foot forward, and this is for you to keep. There's no swapping involved. This is for you, okay? So enough about that, but I do hope you join us. I will put the information down below. Let me set these behind me. I'll put the information down below where you can find Boho Daydreams on Facebook, and if you're not a member, go ahead and tell them I sent you after you see this video. 
and um, answer the questions because you do have to answer the questions to join us. But, you know, you give me a shout out if you want to. Um, and I do hope you join us. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's something that we each can kind of focus on. The other thing that we're going to do is there's going to be a Bible verse um, every day for the year 2022. Um, you know, the last couple years have been rough. And, you know, I think that we all all need some quiet time and some meditation time and some time to reflect. And that's hopefully what our group is going to do for everybody this year. So let's get started here. First of all, I'm going to show you some um, Christmas cards I received. Um, this first one is from Lucy. And she also enclosed a recipe. And um, isn't it pretty? I can see where she's embossed it and she stacked it up. Um, so I thought that was great. Um, this next one is from Vicki. And um, Vicki is another talented person. And these two ladies always remember me every year. Um, this is from Christy. I appreciate it. It's really pretty. Looks like it's been hand stamped. Um, I think this one, yep, is from Carol, also known as CB. Beautiful die cut. I appreciate it. And this one came from across the pond. Um, this is from Joan and her hubby, Paul. And um, I've met them a couple years back and for a couple of years. And she is so talented. Joan also does her own stencils and is always into something. And, and they both are uh, just a lovely couple. Um, this is from my buddy Jan, who um, comes to the retreat that I do. This is from Jeannie. I've mentioned Jeannie before. She is the owner of the ATC group that I'm involved in. Um, I think this one actually goes with something else, and I should not have put it in the pile. Yep, let me pull that out of there for right now. Um, this is from a local. This is from Kathy. And then I sent Vicki a thanks for the Christmas card with a new Christmas card. And she sent me another card. <laughs> so thanks, Vicki, again. And I did the same thing with Jan. And Jan sent me another Christmas card. The same thing. So now when I do some ATCs on my upcycling of Christmas cards, I can definitely have a pair. So those are the cards that I got. And again, I appreciate it. Now, Boho Daydreams, as I mentioned, we, as the administrators, did a little secret sister exchange. And um, my secret sister turned out to be Deborah, And she sent me this beautiful wooden box. And it's got all kinds of goodies in it. Um, this is the note that she included. I don't want to show her information. Um, it's got a little collage paper and some tags and some lace. And a pretty little sachet pillow. And looks like some old paper that I have not unrolled. <laughs> and look at this. It's like a, it's like an old-timey butter knife or spreader. And it's got stamped in it sparkle. Now, I don't know if she's done that or not. And then this is a good idea. I've started now looking for old labels in clothing. And then this um, kind of looks like... Um, some of the pages out of those vintage journals and then I have a little girl and some ribbon so I appreciate it very much Deborah. it was fun having you as my secret sister and um, my secret sister um, if you watched my videos and you saw that I had done an advent calendar for my secret sister um, I will post that all of that will be in the first video of the new year okay um this next one and that's where this card came into play this was from jackie and um i was very surprised and she gave me a beautiful napkin and some stickers and here is this is um like a big tag and I'm telling you, it feels great. She stitched around the edges and, and did some die cuts and everything. And a big sticker on the back, which I am kind of messed up a little bit. And then a piece of ribbon that says Merry Christmas. But inside of it, and I thought this was really clever, is another little bag for me to use. And inside of it is some potpourri. And the potpourri is going to come in very handy because I bought an old vintage 
um, suitcase and it smells a little musty. So I've been working on trying to get it to be unmusty, <laughs> if that's a word. And uh, that sachet is going to come in handy. I've got newspaper stuffed in it right now. The other goodie that I got, again from one of my Boho ad sister admins, um, is this. I don't know what I want to call it. I don't really want to call it a journal. I'm going to call it maybe a flip out um, folder. But she's got some lace here with a beautiful tag that I can tell has been um, decoupaged with a napkin. And kind of like. I got linen handkerchief. It's beautiful. And then she has clipped this down, but it flips out. And these goodies are tucked in. And then there's some goodies that are back in there. So that was from Karen. And also, let me show you this. It's got a beautiful dangle on the bottom of it. Um, some butterflies and some kind of cool, cool bead. Now, let's see if I can find the clip that I just pulled off of it. You know I'm not going to be able to. That's the way my life is. I put things down and they immediately disappear. So, anyway, so that is that. Where is that dang clip? <laughs> that is so funny to me. You can't have gone far. You probably see it. I don't. And then this came from Brenda. And Brenda also is across the pond. She is in Ireland, I believe. And she is another fellow admin person on Boho. Sent me this beautiful card with a nice note. And this chocolate bar made it all the way. And I don't... Yeah, it is broken. But that's okay. And a... Um, looks like a crocheted snowflake. So these are my goodies that I got from my... Um, boho friends in the group and um, I really appreciate it it was it was nice and it's I'm a little slow at getting to know everybody they've been together for a little while and um, I'm learning I'm probably the quiet one in the group believe that <laughs> anyway I just want to tell you that I do a video every Tuesday evening six o'clock Eastern time you can find me on Facebook I have a group I have a page I have my own personal Facebook you can see what me and my little doggy are up to I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest, and I do have a small Etsy shop, and I hope to be adding a few more things um, in the weeks to come. So anyhow, that's me, and I appreciate it, and again, I wanted to show you how I was blessed this Christmas, just from my artsy friends, and I will sign off now. You take it easy, and I'll catch you down the road. 